Hi, I'm Wolfie, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to record your computer screen. Now, if this video does help you out, remember to drop a like in it and subscribe to the channel. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to open up our web browser. Any browser is just fine. Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, entirely fine. Whichever one you use, that's up to you. I am using Opera. So now that I've got it open, we're going to go ahead and go to the search bar. And you're going to want to type in either the three letters OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. So there we go. And, uh, let's put that in there. And we're going to allow that to go through. Okay, so now you should see this here. OpenBroadcasterProject.com or OBS.com. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to go ahead and download this. And this should work just fine, um, even if you're on Mac or Linux. So no worries at all. You'll be able to use this. So just click on download. And you'll see the different uh, versions you can download for your uh, operating system. So go ahead and pick whichever one you need. And let it download. All right, so just go ahead and install everything. Make sure the boxes are checked as you're going through the installation. And when you're done, go ahead and run it. And it should look a little something like this over here. As you can see, I'm currently using this to record my screen. Uh, so that's why there's a little bit of screen inception going on here. Okay. So now that you've installed it and you have your thing up and running, you'll notice that you don't have anything listed on the lower left side um, in the two boxes. So let me go ahead and teach you how, how to use it, basically. So it should say Scene. If it does not, you want to go ahead and right-click and just click Add. You can also click here in order to do that as well, the, the uh, plus symbol. So you're going to do that. And then on the right side, these are your sources. That's where you're going to go ahead and add whatever it is that you're trying to record. So right now, as you can see, computer screen, and it's doing the inception thing. If I were to click this, it would no longer show up, but I'm still recording. So I'm going to unclick that so you can see me. All right, so in order to add a screen, you right click with your mouse, you select add, and then you choose one of these. The one that I have chosen in order to record your screen, I believe that is, which one was that? I believe that was display capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm just gonna name this monitor, okay? And we're gonna hit okay. And as you can see, it's doing it again, the inception. I have two computer monitors, so that's why there's another option here to record the other one. So that right there is what you're going to want to do for the screen to be recorded. Now, there are still some other things you need to do first. Uh, let me go ahead and walk you through that. Okay, let's get rid of that. Now, now that can't be seen when there's a slash through it like this. So... What you want to do is you want to go on over to settings. So click on our settings and the basic settings here, the language, you can change the language. Maybe you speak another language and you don't understand English too well. You have trouble reading it. Uh, feel free to change the language. It'll change the language of all the menus for you. So you can change the language and then there's a theme. If you want to set it to dark mode, which is a little easier on the eyes, you can do that or you can leave it the way it is, entirely up to you. So we're gonna wanna go past stream, we're not streaming, but you can use this to stream, you can use this to stream to Twitch, YouTube, uh, Mixer, it's up to you if you wanna do that, that's not the point of the video here, but you can use it to do those things. Uh, what we're gonna wanna go to is output. And also, I know this all may seek, seem complicated. It's not, trust me. You'll be a pro with this in no time. It's not complicated at all. 
So since I am recording, I am unable to edit anything down here. You're not going to want to look at any of this up here. As you can see, it says streaming. That's for streaming, which you won't be doing. You'll be recording. So if I were not recording, I would be able to adjust the settings here. But since I am, I'm not able to. I am recording. So <clears throat> basically recording path is where your saved file will go once it's done recording. You can click browse and put it wherever you want. I'd recommend putting it to a folder on your desktop that way it's easy for you to find after your after you've recorded. So you're going to want to go down to recording quality. And what I would recommend setting this to is high quality, medium file size. There are two other options. Uh, one says same as streaming, and then the other, I believe, says uh, lossless. I would recommend selecting this one. The, you don't want it to be what it's going to be if you're streaming because that won't look as great. So this one's the best one to go with. Unless you have like an amazing computer, then you're, you'll want to pick the other one, which is lossless. So if we go down another one, you're going to want to change the format, which will say FLV. I'd recommend changing that to MP4 as MP4 is a more common file type. And it'll just be easier in general because a lot of pro editing softwares uh, allow you to use MP4 in them. Whereas FLV, you might have to go through converting it and that could be, that could cause some trouble uh, trying to figure out how to do that, getting that done. It just makes things easier setting it to MP4. So if we go down, you can even change your encoder setting. I recommend leaving it at 264, what it's currently at. You can change it though. Let's say you have an older PC. There is another option, which is a uh, 264, but it's less on your computer. For those that do have older ones, I'd recommend changing it to that. Um, but yeah, you should probably just leave this the way it is if your PC isn't all that old. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and just hit OK, and we'll come back to this screen. And if you would like to add a microphone as you are playing or you're recording your screen, whatever it is you're doing, you can do that by going back here and clicking Audio. Now, your microphone would be listed under Mic slash Auxiliary. Once you connect it, it should show up in this list, and all you have to do is click on it and then it'll be permanently enabled and it should show up down here. Now when it's down here, you have complete control with the volume. If you want your mic to be turned off, you might not hear me. You just put it all the way down like that or if you want it to be at full blast all the way. And same thing for your desktop, whatever it is you're recording on your desktop. Also, in order to actually record, I didn't tell you how to start the recording. See this button right here? It should say start recording, but because I'm currently recording, it's saying stop recording. So that would be the way which you can start. And then once you're done, just hit stop recording and check your folder. It should be saved in there. Uh, remember to go through everything that I mentioned here, all those settings, because it'll change things up greatly. And well, you don't want your quality to be all mushy. You want it to look pretty good. So make sure you go through the settings the way I did and set it up properly. All right, well, there you go. Now you're ready to record your computer screen. Remember to drop a like in this video if it helped you out. Maybe share it with some friends and subscribe to the channel. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.